Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to do this, but they'd like to put a little shadow on this part of the, the like it's going underneath. I'm going to set your nudge factor on six. You really need to change that duplicate distance to zero, zero. We're going to move that up. And that's really pretty good. But when we take this and we left click, right click, you can see that the word's not welded together. So I'm going to nudge it out of the way for a second. The nudge keys do not show up, or excuse me, not the weld keys, but you can go to this weld right here under object, shaping, and weld, and then all those are one piece. Now, I discovered something when I was doing this, taking the Smart Fill tool and filling it in. It only fills into a imaginary line. Well, the imaginary line is that key object. That key object, if we look at under wireframe, is really like a bitmap type deal. So it's got a bounding box that's going to stop the smart fill. We'll put it back on enhance. We can get rid of that bounding box. I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I'm going to make a duplicate and go up. I'm going to take the duplicate and, and um, go to object group and up. Oh, I need to trace it. Go to trace. Outline trace clip art. <clears throat> it looks funny on the screen when it traces. So there's our trace version on the bottom. I need to go to object, group, and ungroup it. As soon as that, the boundary tool comes up. And you can see the boundary tool. So there's the original. So I'm going to take them both and intersect. And now we have no bounding box. If we go to view and wireframe. That's a big, big deal. Uh, go back to enhance mode. And you know what? It would really maybe be easier to nudge that out of the way and use our outline as our guide. Because now we can take the smart field tool. And this, I don't know, it might mess with the inside. Smart field tool and fill that in. Fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. Don't worry about what's underneath the key. <clears throat> now I'm going to get rid of this up top. And while I was uh, smart filling, I should have done this. I should have went ahead and got rid of the um, color or the, the outline. So I'm going to nudge this one down. And I'm going to get rid of the key of the outline. Now I'm going to take this one and put it here. I don't understand what he's talking about with a shadow, but I'm going to use the interactive fill tool. And I'm just going to swipe across it. I did add his color to my palette so I can readily get it. I got it right here. And then we can expand these out. Giving a little bit of effect. Now we can move this out of the way. Move this back up. Go ahead and go to Object, Order, Backup Page. I must be clicked on the wrong one. There we go. Now we can nudge all this down. And it appears, and you can change this, you know, if you didn't get good enough. Now you're, you're selecting the key, so I'm going to get rid of that key for a second. And we can add a little bit more black. See how that looks. Then take the key and bring it up. That to me is kind of like a shadow behind there. I just realized, I think on the original, he actually had the loop going. I might make a second video if he wanted the loop going through the keyhole. We can totally do that too. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.